Hi, my name is Derek Wagner with Horizon Hobby, and today we're here to talk about AVC, or Active Vehicle Control, the latest innovation from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC. I'm here today with John Adams, Technical Director for Spectrum RC. John, tell us a little bit about AVC and uh, what, it, what it means to you and our consumers. What AVC is, is essentially, is a very sophisticated electronic stabilization system designed for RC vehicles. What it really does is makes, the, makes a brushless vehicle or a, a high-powered vehicle or a vehicle with uh, mm -hmm. limited traction more manageable, more controllable. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the features of AVC or active vehicle control that actually make that happen? Yeah, absolutely, I sure can. So one of the uh, features is there's a function called heading hold. So heading hold affects the steering of the truck. The way that heading hold works, in fact, we've got it hooked up here. So heading hold, when you release the steering, the system actually learns a particular heading or a direction. And when the truck rotates, in this case, if it turns left, the, the steering goes right and versus left. So it actually maintains that heading. So that's referred to as heading hold. And what it does for you is, for example, if you're trying to hit a jump or um, if you're trying to drive the car straight. So for example, you're gonna line up to a jump but you have a very slippery entry point to that jump. Normally you mash the throttle and the car gets squirrely and out of control, it's hard to hit the jump. In this particular case, you mash the throttle, the steering automatically compensates and the, the truck goes perfectly straight in the direction that you headed. Uh, so that's what heading hold does for you. Basically it maintains that heading or that direction anytime you release the steering. As an experienced driver, I have to say I was a little apprehensive uh, when, when John and I first started talking about ABC or active vehicle control and its ability to manage uh, heading hold and throttle. Um, based on my experience, I feel that I was in complete control of the vehicle, but until I tested it, I really did, I, I had to test it to know. Great, and, and to give you guys an example of, uh, or a real life example of how the system works, I had an opportunity to drive the Halix. And again, the Halix is a brushless powered monster truck it is very powerful, very fast, and I had an opportunity to drive it, and I turned the system off, and the vehicle was, I'm an experienced driver, but the vehicle was a little uncontrollable. Um, with, your, with no hand on the steering or no steering input, um, the vehicle would veer off to the left or right, um, but with the system on, the vehicle would track perfectly straight. We have a great video that demonstrates uh, hitting hold. You were going away from yourself and you went over a jump and it's kind of neat because you see it vertically stands up on end and truck starting to yaw over to the left and you see the steering, you know, the wheels actually compensate. Yeah. It's a perfect example of how this works. So another, another feature of ABC or active vehicle control is throttle management. Mm -hmm. Throttle management works in harmony with heading hold. And John, tell us a little bit about how throttle management works. Sure. It's much like traction control or the traction control systems that you see in full-scale cars. Um, so what traction control does is based on what the car is going through, the environment that the car is going through, basically the movement, the motion of the car, based on the sensors, um, the throttle is being manipulated to help keep the car in control. I had the opportunity to take the Halix out to a local skate park. Um, that had a polished surface that made it very slippery and with a four-wheel drive brushless vehicle it's obviously very difficult to control on a uh, slippery surface. So what we did is we took the Halix around a, a given uh, area. Um, what I did was I turned the system off to see how fast I could go around that given area. So I turned the system on, and what do you know, this vehicle was much more manageable. I was able to get around the, uh, the area much more controllable, and ultimately it was, it was actually able to get it faster lap around the given area. So more control, more management, more stability. Another really important feature about AVC, and that is that AVC is fully adjustable from the transmitter. So the first two um, trucks that we have available, truck and car, um, will come as a ready to run with a special version of the DX2E. So that DX2E with this particular knob, normally this is a steering right knob, that will actually adjust the authority of the AVC. So if I turn the knob all the way to the right, that turns the AVC at 100%, so it gives you full stabilization. If I turn it all the way to the left, that totally turns the system completely off. So, you know, it's, you're driving the car completely on your own. The beauty of this is you can also adjust this anywhere in between. So, you know, 50%, 30%, you can actually adjust it on the fly while you're running so you can tune it to get exactly the results that you want. So it's a very important um, beneficial feature that is fully adjustable from the transmitter. Thanks, John. 
Um, keep an eye out for uh, more innovation from Horizon Hobby and definitely keep an eye out for the Halix and the Rally X as we introduce those two new vehicles with AVC or active vehicle control technology.